Good morning. Is it still morning? Yes, it's technically still morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. It's like 11 o'clock. I actually did a lot this morning. I'm kind of proud of myself. I've been so tired, but I think it's the weather. But I worked out this morning, did a leg workout. That was pretty nice. Started to add in weights back into my workouts. And I did start a little bit last week with just like the bar and some squats. But this week I did squats with the bar and I did some RDLs at the same weight that I did RDLs last time, just like a lower rep. But I did it and it was great. I think I'm going to be very sore tomorrow. Paisley's finally to the age and the height where she can one, open doors and two, turn on lights. She literally just ran into her bedroom, turned on the light and then walked out. So pray for our electricity bill and for my sanity. I was gonna try to run a couple of errands today but the weather is horrible. The roads are sticky, it's all slushy. Like we have like a fake spring. So like Saturday, it was 66 degrees Fahrenheit, beautiful sunny skies. It was wonderful outside. Um yeah, today, yeah, do you see that? It is snowy and like 30 degrees outside. So that's annoying that this whole week is supposed to kind of be just kind of gross. So we're going to do a lot of inside stuff. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a pregnancy update tomorrow because on Tuesdays is the day that I turn like I switched the week so tomorrow I'll be 17 weeks which is why I kind of do my pregnancy updates on Tuesdays because that's the day that I switch do you want to come say hi to the camera can you say hello you go Mwah. Other than that, we do not have any plans for today because I don't plan on going anywhere with the roads as bad as they are. So I think it's going to be chill. I have like a few things I need to do today, like some choreography, some last week's video going up, stuff like that. Little things. You just love turning on lights, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you say see you later? See you later. Say bye, dudes.
Okay, guys. I've been sitting in bed for the past, like, hour-ish. I don't know. I did finish everything I needed to on my to-do list. Look, you can see me back there. Maybe that's better. <laughs> I finished everything on my to-do list. I don't really have anything else to do. I just feel like I never talk to you guys like in the middle of the day. I feel like I either talk to you guys in the morning and then like at night. Maybe that's just me. I've kind of just been chilling, relaxing a little bit. Um, I did have a snack. I had a little salad. And then in like a couple hours, I'm going to make dinner. But I'm just tired today. It's my whole update. So I'll probably just sit and relax a little bit. I might read my book for a minute but honestly i just want to watch youtube videos right now so yeah. okay so it is a while later it's 8 10 right now Chris is in a little work meeting and Paisley's asleep so I figured I would show you guys just a small like snippet of my night routine. I want to obviously I don't want it to be super long because this is a week in the life and I don't want these videos to be like 45 minutes long but I'm just about to change into my pajamas and normally when I do this I like to watch a YouTube video so I am just watching a video by my friend Desiree and it's her 24 hours with a newborn. She has the cutest newborn. If you'd like to watch that, if you want to watch some newborn content, she's got some really cute and aesthetic newborn. But I'm gonna watch this video while I kind of get a little bit ready. I'm gonna try to do this quickly though because my camera is going to die soon. So let's hope I can get it done before it dies. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden Okay, so now that I've washed my face and brushed my teeth, normally I would write in my planner like the things that I want to do tomorrow, but if I'm being honest, I did it earlier when I got bored. I'm really not that tired. Um, I do want to read a little bit before I go to bed. Right now I'm just going to chill and play on my phone for a hot minute. Um, and then I'll probably read a little bit and then go to sleep. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden. I'll follow the Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we Find the remedy, or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find, I'm standing right here. Can you say good morning? Good morning. Happy Tuesday. So this morning we've been playing all around. Um, I've been trying not to have, oh, excuse me. I've been trying not to have her watch TV in the morning and I didn't realize how much TV Hi. she watched um, until this morning when I haven't turned on the TV yet. It's only been two hours, just over two hours, two hours and like 20 minutes since she's been awake. But, oh. <laughs> but she hasn't watched TV yet, and I'm like, I want her to watch TV. Are you going to show them Elsa and Anna? And you see? They can see it now. Anna. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to probably go play for a little bit. I'll update you on the TV situation. Yeah. It's 9.50. Paisley's been up since 7, so that's almost three hours without TV, which I'm going to take as a win because I didn't turn it on until she asked for it. She just really, she just asked to watch Tangled. So we're going to watch it, and then I think right after the movie is over, I'm going to try to turn the TV right back off, and then if she wants to watch something else, she can ask for it. So that's my goal, is to not turn on the TV really unless she asks. Plus, I'm not going to lie, there's a YouTube video that I've been wanting to watch all day today, and I always feel bad if like I watch a YouTube video, but like she can't. Like to me, that just doesn't 
It doesn't make sense. Okay, I figure while Paisley is occupied right now, I'm gonna do a really quick 17 week update. So 17 weeks today. Um, I also don't know if I've mentioned it in any of these weekly vlogs, but my due date is August 17. I know I mentioned it in like my pregnancy Q and A. A little belly check, I guess. Here's my belly. Um, I feel like it looks bigger in person, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe that's just me. But I'm definitely getting up here a little bit more. Like it's definitely expanding more and I can feel the baby down here. Compared to Paisley, and maybe it's just because it's so early, like I can feel this baby is super low, like in my pelvis. And I don't know if like as the baby gets bigger, if I'll be able to kick, feel the kicks and stuff up here. But so far I don't really feel much movement up here. It's all like on the lower half of my stomach and like in my pelvis, but I can feel baby move. I know last week I said that I could kind of feel baby move if baby like makes a big movement or something, but like I can actually really feel baby move right now, which is very reassuring and helpful when it comes to me, like, you know, wondering if the baby's okay and stuff like that. Obviously with Paisley, it was a little different because I was a new mom. I didn't really know much. So hopefully within the next like month or so, I can actually do like a, gender reveal video, which I'm super excited about. The biggest symptom I've noticed so far, and this is something I didn't have with Paisley, is my bladder has little to no control. And what I mean by that is like, first of all, I have to pee every 20 minutes already. Like I'll like lean the wrong way or something, or I'll like, I'll like laugh and flex really hard and I'll literally pee my pants. I don't know if that's TMI, but like it's true. That's something I didn't have with Paisley and I'm really hoping goes away after pregnancy. That's pretty much the update. I don't really have any more symptoms as in like, other than like kicking and the normal like growing pains, I guess. I don't really have any other more symptoms. My guess, and I'm gonna say this now, I can't take it back after this. My guess is I'm going to give birth somewhere around 39 weeks. Let me know your guesses in the comments because Paisley, I had her at 38 weeks and three days. So my guess is I'm gonna go a little bit longer, around 39 weeks-ish, maybe 39. I'm gonna give myself like a week after I had Paisley. So like 39 weeks and three days. That's my guess. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Happy Wednesday. Sorry for the weird lighting. My lamp lighting. It's 6 36 in the morning. I was gonna work out this morning, but when I woke up, I was just really not feeling it. I was so exhausted that I couldn't even picture getting up and getting dressed. So I still want to work out today. I'll just probably work out later today. But this morning, I decided to do just a little chapter in this book that I actually got from one of my best friend's moms. It's just Jesus CEO using ancient wisdom for visionary leadership. This is the book. So far, I've only done two chapters because it's like you read a chapter and then you answer some questions at the end, which is what I was doing in here. And so far, I really like it. It just basically teaches you um, to be a good leader. One of the questions in here today was, if each word you said about yourself fell and wrapped itself around you like a garment, what would your self-talk wardrobe look like? And that was something for me to be really able to picture in my head. That's all I did this morning. I wrote in my planner. I will probably try to get up and get ready right now. I do have a pretty big headache. Chris is currently at the gym right now. Now I need to get up and get ready, but I really don't want to, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> It's been a while, I'm not gonna lie. I low-key forgot that I was vlogging, which is weird because I've been vlogging every day of the week for the past like, what vlog is this, like six? Yeah, so like five, six weeks. I went to the thrift store with my mom and we had a pretty successful trip. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got. First was this little Easter basket for Paisley. This was 75 cents and I've been needing to get her an Easter basket. Next, I just got this like tarp. It was in their Easter section, it was 50 cents. But my mom would always get these for when we were little. So that way like, 
if we wanted to put it on the ground and we could like paint or like even color or play with play-doh she'd always put these like over the carpet or something that maybe we wouldn't get it on the carpet so she suggested that to me when i was there and i was like ah oh, that's a great idea so i got these that way me and Paige can do some more crafts I don't have to worry about her getting a mess everywhere. Plus, it's cute for Easter if we want to put it out. The next four things I got were books. I got her this little Easter book. That way we can read it and I can teach her about Easter and all that stuff. And then I got her three Dora books because we know we're obsessed with Dora right now. I'm going to let her keep one for right now. And then these two I'm actually going to put in her Easter basket. All of this stuff was I think like $4.24 or something like that. That was nice. And then I got one more thing which I'm going to show you guys because it's in my garage. This is what we got. Isn't that awesome? So it was the footstool and this for $45. Um, I wanted one of these chairs for when this baby comes with Paisley, I didn't have a rocker and I fed her on the floor. But for this baby, I got this for $45. It's like this, I don't even know, tan color and then some dark wood. It's not particularly the colors I would like, but to be honest, like for $45 and to have both pieces and have them be in super good condition, like I'll take it. But that's all we got today. So overall I spent like $50, which with the chair, like I'm so excited for that chair. That was the, one of the number one things that I said with this baby I'm gonna buy because I didn't have with Paisley. And it's, it's everything that I wanted. The only thing was the color of it. And to be honest, we could always change the cushions or even just like we could always paint the chair, but I don't see myself doing that because almost every piece, piece of furniture except for our bed set we have right now is like either second hand or it was given to us like my parents gave us our couches so like our whole house is kind of second hand so right now I'm trying to get that stuff second hand and then maybe once we actually get our own house then I'll put in the effort to paint those things if I want but Chris has a work phone call in like 15 minutes it's a little chilly outside but I think me and Paisley are gonna go outside and play just to get some of her energy out but before then I'm gonna make probably a couple of TikToks, so. Oh, would you stay till the morning light? Oh, would you follow me? Oh, would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Oh, would you stay with me now till the morning Look at me. Did you eat the ice cream? The chalk ice cream? Ice bag clown! Yeah, did you eat it? I didn't throw your stuff away. Thursday. I feel pretty good this morning. I'm pretty excited. I did do a upper body and push day workout. I, I'm going to post it on for sure TikTok. I might post it on Instagram. If you want to go follow my Instagram or my TikTok, I will link both of them down below. It's currently 8.07. That's my update so far. Belly's getting bigger. It's looking nice. Nice and plump. All right. It's a long time later. We just put Paisley down for bed. I haven't talked to you guys all day pretty much i talked to you a little bit this morning and then i don't know like my mood has just not been the great today um and my stomach hurts randomly in the middle of the day i started getting like period pain kind of in my back which I, even when i get my normal period i never give it in my back so that was a new experience so i'm sorry for the light right now i don't know what it's doing to my camera yeah so i like decided to take a bath um, for a little bit just for like 20 minutes to kind of ease the pain But now I need to do some editing and then I'll probably end up just going to sleep and then tomorrow morning I have another day where I need to do I need to work out I need to do a leg day because I'm adding in 
four days a week now. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna do some editing for a little while, probably maybe like an hour or so, and then I'll probably just get ready and go to bed. It's been an hour. I'm gonna go to bed now. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> I haven't talked to you guys at all today and I meant to talk to you earlier but my camera died so obviously I had to let it charge. Let me tell you, mom morning this morning has been a rough morning. Paisley was testing me as a mother and my hormones right now just like can't handle it. I don't know why but I feel like, I don't know if it's the weather, which it very well could be the weather um, because it's snowing again today because I love Michigan but yeah it's supposed to be like 57 and like sunny on Monday so let's hope that will help but my mood I've just been like really down lately and I don't know if it's just because it's cold outside we're stuck inside there's not really a whole lot for us to do and I'm like overstimulated almost with like toddler in my face all the time but I just gave Paisley some kinetic sand to play with hoping she can play with that for a little while we turn the TV off can you say hi hi but it's Friday today. We have no plans. Paisley's gonna go to my mom's house tonight. Oh, I have to just. A clock, 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 clock. <laughs> it is a clock. You're right. A clock, clock, clock. I already worked out this morning. I just I didn't want to work film my workout this morning because I feel like I've been filming it so much for either for you guys or for TikTok recently that I just needed a workout where I didn't have to film it. Got my workout done and then ate breakfast, all that fun stuff. Yeah, I've just been kind of down today. So hopefully my mood will change, but honestly, I think it's the weather. Like I really do think that the weather is getting me down and I just want to go outside, go to the park. I'm over winter and I want spring. I'm ready for it. What have we been doing for the past 20 minutes? I got her these little animals from the dollar store like a long time ago. And I forgot about them and I got them out yesterday and today she's been playing with them for so long. But we haven't had the TV on for almost, I think like an hour and a half-ish now because someone got in trouble. I'm gonna make lunch in about 20-ish minutes. We're gonna have some pasta. We had a little bit of a meltdown. Paisley got her finger stuck in a toy it wasn't like stuck stuck but she she couldn't get it out but it obviously scared her unfortunately i was actually going to the bathroom at the time so it's not like i was with her so it definitely scared her and then she didn't want to be by herself and like play downstairs so i turned on the tv for her that way i could make some lunch because i'm so hungry yeah i felt so bad she was so scared Hey guys, so I'm happy Saturday. Why are you focusing on the door? Focus on me. Um, happy Saturday. Let me tell you, I had a really rough day mentally yesterday. Um, I don't know if it's just like my hormones. I was just super down and I just didn't feel like turning on my camera at all. I like vlogged a little bit in the morning and then I just couldn't 
do it anymore. It was just a rough mom day for me with Paisley's tantrums and my hormones going crazy. So I just needed a day to just kind of chill. I'm feeling much better today. So hopefully like yesterday, I literally woke up feeling down. So that didn't help. Today, I feel much better. Um, my mom took Paisley last night. Uh, she takes her every Friday night. So it's not like any reason, but like my mom had Paisley last night, so I got a little bit of a break from her, which if you're a mom, you know, sometimes you just need. But if that's why the last couple of days in this vlog are really short and I don't really say anything or show much, that's kind of wise because I've just not been in the best mood. But hopefully we can turn that around for next week. If you guys have made it to the end of this video, please like this video so I can tell how many people actually watched till the end. I checked this morning. You guys are so cool. And we have four subscribers until we hit 550. So thank you if you have subscribed recently. And even if you've subscribed a long time ago, like just thank you. You guys don't realize how excited I get every single time I get a new subscriber. I literally will tell Chris every single time that like, oh my goodness, another person subscribed and I'll get so excited. So um, just know that every time I get a new subscriber, it just really brightens my day. So if you've seen my face before, you like my videos, please subscribe because um, it really, really supports my channel. And also like this video because that supports my channel as well. And I will see you guys all in next week's vlog. Bye. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we